The Garlock Fault has been quiet for over 400 years, but it's not looking so quiet anymore. The Sleeping Giant started showing some activity and movement, and the 2019 Ridgecrest earthquake just confirmed it. Scientists say that Garlock Fault can cause a magnitude 8 earthquake. The fault stretches for 185 miles, and it is the second longest fault in California after San Andreas. The Garlock Fault runs from the intersection with the San Andreas Fault in the Antelope Valley in the east to the Death Valley Fault Zone. It is named after the historic mining town of Garlock, founded in 1894 by Eugene Garlock, now a ghost town. There are few communities located along the Garlock Fault, as it is mostly situated in the Mojave Desert. Several towns are located in close proximity, such as Fraser Park, Tehachapi, Mojave, and Johannesburg. Scientists believe that the Garlock Fault was developed to accommodate the strain between the Great Basin surface and the Mojave Desert Crust. Unlike most of the other faults in California, slip on the Garlock Fault is left lateral. The terrain north of the fault is moving westward and the southern part is moving eastward. The Garlock Fault moves at a rate of almost half an inch per year. Most of this movement occurs without causing earthquakes and cannot be felt by a human, although they are micro-earthquakes. However, scientists predict that the Garlock Fault will produce another major earthquake at some point in the future. In a recently published study in the Science Journal, scientists indicate that a part of the Garlock Fault slipped after the Ridgecrest Area earthquake in 2019. Los Angeles Times indicated that a magnitude 8 earthquake along the Garlock Fault would have the potential for grave disaster. The most recent earthquake in this area was a magnitude 5.7 near the town of Mojave in 1992. After a series of earthquakes in 2019, the Garlock Fault was observed moving about 0.8 inches or 2 centimeters between July and October of the same year. It was accompanied by numerous minor earthquakes and produced a bulge in land observed by satellites. For many decades, scientists believe that big earthquakes are caused by big faults. The San Andreas Fault, that stretches for 800 miles, was seen as a major risk because of its size. But in the 1990s, that assumption changed after a large earthquake in Landers, California, where multiple smaller faults were acting all together. The 7.1 magnitude Ridgecrest earthquake that was caused by the Garlock Fault in conjunction with 20 other small and previously undetected faults confirms that hypothesis. A Caltech professor stated that we can't just assume 
that the largest faults dominate the seismic hazard if many smaller faults can link up to create these major quakes. While the Garlock Fault has been considered sleeping for the last 500 years, it appears to have awakened after July 2019 disaster. Scientists say that the whole state of California would feel the new earthquake, noting that the effects would be worse than the Ridgecrest events. The direction of the shake will be more intense and felt over a larger area. Do you think there will be an earthquake in the Garlock Fault area in the future? Leave your comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.